Hey, what's going on, guys? Man, it's been a minute since we've had a discussion. Me sitting in this chair talking about some weekly picks. But that's just what we're going to do. This is going to be a new weekly picks video. But a little caveat. We're not doing single issues. This is going to be a new weekly picks series where we are going to talk about my top picks for trade paperbacks or omnibuses that are releasing this week. Now, if you're new to comic collecting, which is a great freaking hobby, by the way, you might be asking what the heck is a trade paperback or an omnibus? Well, let's just say typically comic book collectors, they go after single issues, right? So we got some G.I. Joe comics here. We got G.I. Joe issues numbers 12 all the way up to 16, right? So what if I were to tell you that there was a way you could buy one book that would have all those issues in it? That would be a trade paperback. A trade paperback usually collects four to six issues or a story arc all in one book. And you can buy it right off the newsstand. You can buy it off Amazon. You can order it online. But it makes it great for comic book readers because a lot of the times you'll read a single issue. And at the end of the issue, you go, man, I want to know what's next. But you have to wait a whole month. If you buy it in trade, trade comes out later, of course. But you buy the trade, you have the whole art collected in one, and you can kind of binge read it, which is what a lot of comic book readers like to do. They still buy the floppies. Single issues are often referred to as floppies. They still buy the floppies, but then they pick it up and trade for the story, especially if you don't want to open and read your, your floppies. Keep them bag and board, keep them in your collection, and then the trade paperback operates as your reading copy, where you can just go back and read the story anytime you want. A couple examples of trades is like Kill or Be Killed. This is volume number one. We have Bone Parish also. Knights of the Golden Sun. This carries that whole first volume, which is a fantastic read, by the way. And then, of course, one of my favorites from the New 52 was that Justice League Dark Side War. And this is part two to that. So those are trade paperbacks. And then if you want something on a bigger scope, you can go the omnibus route. And then omnibus, as you can see, is a lot thicker. It carries about 30 issues, around 30 issues or so. Like this is Marvel's Punisher Max. One of my favorite, favorite volumes. So I bought this in omnibuses, volume one and volume two of this. And this one collects Collector Born issues one through four and Punisher issues one through 30. So you actually get 34 comic book issues in this. With that being said, we're going to get into my top picks for trade paperbacks and omnibuses that are releasing Wednesday, December 11th. 2019. I will put links in the description to these if you want to order them. I like to use Amazon because a lot of times Amazon prices are a little bit cheaper. The problem with that is sometimes they don't hit Amazon until a week after the fact. So if price is an issue and you want the cheapest price possible, I recommend Amazon. You just have to wait a little longer to get it. And my first pick this week is from that DC Vertigo imprint and we are getting the omnibus for Why the Last Man. We're talking Brian K. Vaughn. A lot of people know him from Saga. But before Saga came Why the Last Man, if you're a fan of apocalyptic tales, this is one series you need to read. And you get all 60 issues in one book. Hardcover, Brian K. Vaughn goodness, fan favorite, critically acclaimed. I'm excited this book is releasing. And it's definitely one book that I have on pre-order. This next pick, if you follow me on this channel, you know, big fan of independent comics and a big fan of Mad Cave. Here we are getting Battle Cats Volume 2 Trade Paperback. This is the complete volume, issues one through six. Love this. If you're a fan of independent comics and if you're a fan of Mad Cave, you know they do such great stories, such as the first volume of Battle Cats, Midnight Task Force, Knights of the Golden Sun, Honor and Curse, and they just released that awesome wrestling book, Over the Ropes. And if you're not a fan of independent or Mad Cave, pick up this trade. You can order it directly from madcavestudios.com, help support independent comics, and get a great story in return. Next one, they're often labeled independent. I like to consider them more small press. This is from IDW Publishing, and we get Ghost Tree. That's right. This is another one that came out when the single issue, special issue number one came out. A lot of people are hyped about this. Here you get those issues all collected in one volume in a trade paperback. And of course, you might be wondering, what is this story even about? It's about a person seeking refuge from an unhappy life, returns back to Japan, comes across the haunted tree, and all the departed souls that have been drawn to it, including 
his grandfather. So instead of leading that happy life right away, the man attempts to heal history's wounds and in the process receives a visit from someone special in his past. So there's a little bit of supernatural to it, but the main plot points deal with emotions of someone's life, whether it's past, present, or future. I enjoyed it. I'd pick these up in the floppy issues, but I do look forward to picking this up in trade paperback because like I said, I like to go back and reread stories and don't want to pick up the single issues, mess those up. So I'll keep those bagged aborted and order me this trade paperback. Then the last pick for this week, talking this is recent and this came out like gangbusters. You know, it's something very special when the comic community as a whole praises a book and this isn't just one book and this isn't just one title. This was actually two titles and we are talking about Jonathan Hickman's House of X, Powers of X. Some people say could be Powers of 10, but to me, I just like saying Powers of X because I mean, I don't call them 10 men, I call them X-Men. Either way, here we're gonna have all 12 issues, six issues of House of X, six issues of Powers of X, all combined in one hardcover book. Now, if you're a fan of Jonathan Hickman, you know all the extra stuff he puts in these books, all the cerebral messages. A lot of people, there's people that like them, people that don't like them. I personally liked them better on East of West rather than House of X, Powers of X. But either way, if you're a fan of this book, this hardcover that comes out this week is something you should have on your radar. Definitely something to add to your collection if you're a fan of X-Men or Jonathan Hickman. But this is one I like to have back in hardcover because I still think there's stuff that I did not pick up on in this story. That's how Jonathan Hickman's writing is. Very cerebral. So I'm going to get this hardcover, go back and read it. And who knows? Like I said before, if you watch this channel, you know I'm not a huge X-Men fan. I actually liked both of these series, but I dropped off because they've already gone on to about 30 freaking different X-Men volumes coming out of this. I like X-Force. I like Marauders. I'm not reading X-Men or anything else, but I will pick this hardcover up because it was a great read. And I think it'll be great to read down the road and come back to and visit again and again. So there it is, guys. Quick, simple. Those are my top picks for trade paperbacks and omnibuses that are coming out December 11th, 2019. I do have a bigger list of more trade paperbacks and omnibuses that are coming out. And if you want to see that list, you can head over to simplemanscomics.com. I'll have that up over there. And again, links to every book we've talked about in this video will be in the description of this video, as well as in that article at simplemanscomics.com. So click that thumbs up button for me. And if there's any of these books that we talked about in this video that you plan to pick up, let me know in the comments because I love to hear from all the comic book readers. We are about community on this channel. And with that being said, this is Brian from Simple Man's Comics. And I'll see you guys next week.